Earlier this month, SpaceX launched a three-engine Starship prototype called the SN8. The launch was successful and the rocket actually reached its desired destination. The entire thing was over in about six minutes. However, there was a tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny problem. The rocket did everything successfully, except land. Actually, it didn't just not land, it actually did a sick flip and then exploded. The video of this explosion was so amazing that Elon Musk may or may not have called it epic, which is a weird way to refer to the destruction of a rocket prototype worth millions of dollars. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be going through what this rocket was supposed to achieve, what it measured, why it failed to land, and what all this means for SpaceX. And we'll also be looking at some pretty dope rocket videos. But first, let's start at the beginning. The Starship the SpaceX Starship system is a fully reusable two-stage to orbit spacecraft that has been under development by SpaceX since at least 2012. The second stage of the spacecraft, also known as the Starship, is being designed as a long-duration cargo that may be able to carry passengers eventually. The spacecraft will initially be used and tested without any booster stage at all. Why, you may be wondering. Well. SpaceX wants the Starship to be able to work as both a second stage on a two-stage orbit vehicle and the in-space long-duration orbital spaceship. And it can only be this if it goes through extensive development testing to figure out details like the atmospheric re-entry of the spacecraft. Right now, the Starship is being tested on its own at suborbital altitudes. Later on, it will be used at orbital launches with an additional booster called the Super Heavy. Testing for proof of concept for the Starship started as way back as March 2019, and by September, two prototypes, SN5 and SN6, had already made low-altitude test flights. The SN8, also known as the Serial Number 8, is as the name implies, the eighth prototype version of the Starship, and it was built to perform the first high-altitude test of the Starship. Description of the Starship Upper Stage The final Starship is expected to be powered by six methane-oxygen-propellant Raptor engines. These engines will be used at sea level, while the other three would be used for vacuum burns. The sea level engine will be identical to the engine on the Super Booster. SpaceX expects the total thrust to be approximately 11,500 kilonewtons. The Starship is quite different from all other launch vehicles because the upper stage is designed to function both as a second stage vehicle to reach orbit velocity, but also as an on orbit long duration spacecraft in space. This means that it's being designed with the capacity of re-entering Earth's atmosphere from orbital velocities and then landing vertically. In addition to this, the spacecraft is designed with the goal of rapid reusability. The Starship Operational Variants The Starship is expected to be built in at least four different variations. The Spaceship The first variant is a large, long-duration spacecraft that would be capable of carrying cargoes and passengers to interplanetary missions. Satellite Delivery Spacecraft The satellite delivery spacecraft will transport and put spacecraft into orbit. The spacecraft would also be, theoretically, capable of handling the in-space recovery of spacecraft and space debris for return to Earth or movement to another orbit. In 2020, SpaceX released a user's guide that shows the satellite delivery spacecraft with a large cargo bay door. With this cargo door, the craft will be able to easily pick up cargo and deliver it to space. Lunar to Surface to Orbit Transport This is a variant of the spaceship that is built without air brakes or heat shielding. This way, it would be appropriate for operations outside the atmosphere. In addition to this, the ship will come with a docking port on the nose and will have white paint, unlike the bare steel that is planned for regular spaceships. Tanker 
The tanker is a cargo-only propellant tank that is supposed to support the refilling of propellant in the Earth's orbit. The tanker will allow SpaceX to launch a heavy spacecraft into interplanetary space. This is because the spacecraft being used would be able to use its tank twice. It would be able to use it to reach LEO, and it would later be able to leave Earth's orbit. However, this variant is expected to come much later in development. For now, the initial in-space propellant transfer will be from one spaceship to another. The SN8 Flight Test Back in October, SpaceX lit up the three Raptor engines on its SN8 Starship prototype in a brief static test. The test was done at the company's facility in South Texas. Static fires are tests where the engines of a rocket are ignited while the launch vehicle is still attached to the ground. These tests are usually one of the last pre-launch tests done on a rocket. After the test, the spaceship was finally ready for launch. On December 9th, it was launched on an epic high-altitude test from SpaceX's facility near the South Texas village of Boca Chica. The flight took off at about 5 o'clock and went 7.8 miles in the air before returning to Earth. The entire thing was done in about 6 minutes. After reaching its target altitude, the rocket began to descend by shutting down its three Raptor engines one by one. Afterwards, the spaceship tipped its nose forward and tried to do a landing. However, that part wasn't successful. A camera that was set up near the landing pad caught an extraordinary view of the vehicle as it made its plunge towards Earth. In the video, which was shared on Twitter by SpaceX, you can see canards on the nose cone and wing flaps on the base of the rocket move to help steer SN8 during its descent. From the beginning of the video, it really looked like it would be a perfect descent for the SN8, but that wasn't to be. As the spaceship tried to land, something utterly catastrophic happened. One of its engines cut out prematurely, causing the rocket to drop to the ground too quickly. And as you'd expect, this ended disastrously as the entire thing combusted into a huge ball of fire as soon as it hit the ground. Reactions to the failed launch When you catch an explosion of a multi-million dollar project on camera, you probably expect it to be bad news. You probably don't imagine that someone would come out and say, well, actually, this explosion was actually good news. Well, the thing is, you probably haven't heard of SpaceX and Elon Musk. Elon Musk was actually excited about the whole thing. Even though he was just a little bit bummed out, the fact that the spacecraft eventually exploded, he was happy about everything else. In a tweet, he said that the SN8 did great. Even reaching Apogee would have been great, so controlling all the way to putting the crater in the right spot was epic. Yeah, Elon, epic. That's precisely what we'd say if we also saw our million dollar project go up in flames. We're all pretty sure that's what you would say too, isn't it? And strange as it may seem, Elon is actually right. The spacecraft may have exploded, but the landing aspect of it is something that could be perfected over time. However, the main goal of the spacecraft was to gather flight data and provide proof of concept was successful. So despite the spacecraft, quite literally, crashing and burning, the mission was a success. What will happen next? Well, whatever happens next, we know that it will happen without the SN8. It's gone, and that's about that. But the development of the Starship is still in full gear. SpaceX already has plans to launch additional prototypes to develop the Starship. The next prototype is called the SN9, and it's already nearly built. It's expected to launch on a similar testing flight like the SN8. Hopefully this time, it doesn't crash in a fiery dump. That's it for now, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button for more super freaky science. Goodbye, and remember to stay safe.